Let's continue to add to this little scene of medical equipment here. I've done this piece and I've done this piece and now I'm going to do a chair. Yes, you heard me right. A chair, a quick chair. All right, so let me double check that everything's cool over here. Yes, it is. So let's go with a circle. Let's use yeah, 22 is good. All right, and uh, we'll make the base down here. All right, extrude up a little ways. And we'll come in. And um, I think maybe this should be a little bit bigger. I'll have to scale everything down. Extrude up. That might actually be a bit thick, the more I think about it. Yeah, let's uh, scale shift Z now. E and S. take this ring here let's actually get back into solid uh, solid view okay take that shift D and P to break it out mm -hmm. there's gonna be my cushion bring it up so a little bit thicker than this maybe twice I'm gonna fill that I'm just going to go ES and bring that in, but I'm going to scale or uh, bevel both of these. Just actually a, a wide one with, with just one, so it's nice and smooth. This we're going to bevel here. This can be tighter, like a piece of metal. And uh, let's take this and lengthen it a bit. two faces or not maybe not at least but we gotta have two faces uh, now what we're gonna do is I'm going to select that bring the 3d cursor there and then I'm gonna bring in a cube scale it down push it out so it just about fits yeah there we go extend this out a ways just a little ways past this I think I'll hit E to extrude and it'll come out a bit more. But let's make it a bit thinner, scale shift Y, scale shift Y. Maybe like that. And let's take this bottom piece here and extrude it down a little bit. It's nothing fancy. We can, however, get rid of that face there. Let's see how I was going with that. I'm going to bevel that one. Start throwing on subdivision on this or start seeing that. Can I get away with one? With some edge loops there and there. Up here and up here. Might need another one. Yeah, it's a little discolored, but. Let's select that and that and start throwing that stuff on. There, see I wanted it a bit a bit rounder there. So we have that. And then uh, this piece. Yeah, so let's take that and set the origin of geometry. Cursor is selected and let's switch over to 3D cursor here. So uh, I'm gonna rotate this around 360. I want five of them, so it's 72 degrees each one. So I'm gonna go shift D R Z 72. I'm just thinking. I wonder if I should make the wheel and rotate it all around at the same time. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, shift D R Z 72. Shift D R Z 72. Shift T R Z 72 like that. Okay, so I get those all the way around. It's a simple chair, that's all. Alright. Okay, now. Let's 
let's turn that back to median point. Let's come in here and let's select this bottom face and shift S cursor to select it. All right, we're going to bring in another circle. We'll go with 22 again. Let's scale it down. Let's rotate Y90 from the front. Everything looks good. Let's bring it down. Okay. Just thinking for this guy. Get S, bring it in like that. Let's select it all. And begin. Lengthen it out. I don't know how much. And I think I'm going to keep it hollow inside. I'll show you why in a bit. I'll grab all these edges here. That one with Control B. I'm going to do this. And I'll put just one segment there. And we'll uh, shift and click that control L modifier. So I'll put that subdivision on there. Like that. And then I was thinking I'll select these faces. Shift S cursor to select it to bring the 3D cursor there. And then I will bring in a UV sphere. I'll go with 12 and 6. Okay. Rotate Y90 and scale it down. Scale it down a little bit more. I can scale this in the X. And let's try uh, just that subdivision with smooth on. Let's globally scale it a bit so it looks like that. And I don't know, I hope that looks okay. And then I'm going to come in to the top and I'm going to select a number of these faces. Doesn't even have to be equal going around. Okay, I'm gonna shift D and then bring that up. And I think I will break that out. So I got this piece right here, you can see. I'm gonna take this, go E and uh, Alt S. Give a little bit of thickness, not too much, but enough that you could see it a little bit from a distance. All right, and I'll just start throwing in some edge loops. And it'll be rather squarish, but. So we'll have that piece there. And uh, we'll do one more piece, and that'll be, well, I'll use a circle again. Okay, and let's extrude it up. Select it all, push it down. Maybe I'll make it a little bit narrower. Press uh, smoothing on that one. And that's going to be my wheel. I can bring it a little closer up. Yep, that's my wheel. Very simple. I'm going to take this and that and control G. I'll make that a group. And then from the top in wireframe, I'm just going to shift D and G. I'm just going to drag them in, place them roughly. Not too worried about it. I may have to fix it up, but we'll see. Yeah, I guess I got to do a little bit of work here. Thing, so I'll just individually select these ones. Position them. Other ones look okay. That part is going to be that. That's going to be white. And I can select all these. And then select that last and control L, choose materials for white. Uh, I want the ball, not the tire, the ball to be white. And, uh, oh, <coughs> materials. Uh, what did I not get? Did I get these as white? Yeah. Okay. And uh, I also want these as white. Okay, but I'm going to want 
those as black. And so, um, there's black. It's like the antenna, I guess, on the, on the other guy. Let's have a look at whether or not I got everything. Let's switch my, my light layer on. There's my little chair. Let's go back to here. Let's select it all and control G. And let's look with respect to everything. Where'd you go, buddy? Oh, you're big. Big, big chair. Scale you down, make you reasonable. Thanks for watching.